Floor is open. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think the team responded well. We had a great day of practice yesterday. Everybody came flying around there. Practice was really physical. Um, I think we're ready, you know, for Thursday. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Jaron, what's the process been like getting to, to learn how to play alongside Leonard the last few weeks and figuring his game out and vice versa? <laughs> oh, it's been, it's been pretty easy. Uh, I think I told him the other day, I said, man, it feels like you've been here all season. Leonard's a baller. And uh, I think me and him inside are pretty decent. You know, we made a couple of plays last week <laughs> where we tackled the same guy together. We was joking about making the tackle. I mean, it's good to play with guys like that. Fierce, strong, fast, competitive, got a great motor. I mean, yeah, you can't do no choice but love that. What have you seen from Draymond Jones and the times where he's been on the edge? Yeah. Oh, great. It's great. I think it was a good move for him. Uh, he's got great size, great power, uh, and quickness uh, to guard them and be a mismatch versus tackles. What's the, what's the challenge this Dallas offense creates for, for you along the line of scrimmage? Uh, Dak. I think they do a good job of getting the ball out. They have a great run game, a good offensive line, and their scheme is very well. And uh, We're going to have to try to control Dak and control the run game. And I think as long as we do that and execute our plays, we'll do pretty good. You know that Tony Pollard is just going to run downhill and, and run into guys. Does it make it easier to tackle a guy like that where you know where he's going? <laughs> uh, as long as we get there and make the tackle, firm tackle, wrap up, and do Seahawks tackle, I think it'll be okay. Tony Pollard's a great player. Um, he made his name in his league known. And uh, we just got to do that for everybody. That goes for him, Dak, CD, whoever gets the ball. That tackling has been something that's popped up as a problem for the last few weeks. What do you think that is? Is that young guys not taking the extra step? Is it fatigue? Yeah, is sometimes, it? you know, you got to take the extra step. Um, I think we can go look for a kill shot too many times versus making the actual play, making securing the play, uh, securing the tackle, making a for sure tackle. So that does come with taking the extra step. If they're running the zone away with the ends closing down, um, they come through the hole, you know, getting a good base in and wrapping up and taking the feet out. How do you teach that, though, to a young guy where you're, you don't want to take away their aggressiveness, but you got to play fundamental football? Yeah, it yeah, starts in practice. So we go back to practice, go back to the drawing board, football one on one, and we'll bring some tackling drills back out just so you can get there. And then you got to put emphasis on taking an extra step. So when, you know, we're in practice on days without pass, those will be key days where you got to use your imagination, where you got to go in, you got to take the next step, you got to get down with a good base, and you got to wrap up and fly by. That's what we call it, the fly by. Jaren, what's this Thursday to Thursday kind of week doing for you guys, being a little bit different? Usually when you do have the Thursday night game, you at least get a couple of days off of the weekend yeah. before coming back, going yeah. seven days later. How how different does that make things? Uh, it's weird. I forgot what days were which days at this point. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's very different. But, you know, we got to adjust to how the schedule, how it is. You know, we can't control that. We got to control what we can. And we got to get ready to play. You know, it's, it's tough. We got a good little run here. And we just got to stick it out. We got to tough it through. They've been really good at home, obviously, for the last couple of years. What's going to be sort of the key for you guys to kind of get started fast? Oh, uh, yeah, that, you just said it. We got to go in. We got to start fast. We got to start fast. We got to execute on both sides of the ball, especially third downs. You know, offense, you know, can't really speak on them, but I can say as long as they get the manageable third downs, they should be good. And as long as we get them the ball, uh, create some turnovers, hold the explosive plays down. And uh, I think we get going and control the clock. What have you thought of the, the pass rush in the last few weeks? Uh, things are pretty good. You know, we got to get we got to get the teams behind the sticks so we can, you know, really let our pass rush go get at the guys. Uh, we've been kind of giving up a few yards here and there, letting them get the third and shorts. We need more third and long downs. You know, third and six and above, so we can really go get them. And we nobody can, none of the quarterbacks can just throw short throws or get a little time throws where they try to run routes to the sticks. Did you grow up watching the Cowboys? Did you grow up watching the Cowboys? They got a lot of play there for a number of years. Yeah, they do. I grew up a Steelers fan, believe it or not. But <laughs> that, that's just me. But, uh, you know, I grew up just watching football, period. And, uh, you know, I, the most I remember Cowboys would probably be like Larry Allen and Emmitt Smith and the old Tony Romo and Michael Irvin, those type guys. How did you get to rooting for the Steelers? 
Uh, I don't know. It was growing up watching them. It was, thing was just the defense. Their defense was just so stout, and, and they were rough and just tough. It was, you know, physical football, and that's what I like. I remember a lot of battles between them and the Ravens. It was lit. Absolutely. We all play fast, physical, sound football. You know, like I just said before, we got limited explosive plays. We got to create turnovers to get the offensive ball, and we got to get the field on third down. Thanks, Thank you.